one of these these Apple watches for my birthday and I'm tripping out. It's like, it's so not necessary, but at the same time, it's so cool. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in for another quick little channel CG video. Today we are back with the PTGT and for this one, I'm going to be making the switch to synthetic motor oil. Something that a ton of people have been picking on me about and telling me I need to do with this car. Ever since I bought it, I've been using Penn's oil, non-synthetic conventional oil. I switched back and forth between high mileage like every other change or so. And I've just been throwing like Fram Tough Guard filters in it, which I know is probably not the best idea, but at the time I had no idea really the difference between that and synthetic, what the advantages of synthetic were. I thought it was just sort of an unnecessary thing for a car like this, so I just used that, stuck with it, changed it religiously. But I've learned a lot since then about a lot of different Things. As a matter of fact, I took a chemistry course in college and for one of the papers I got to choose my topic that was the topic I chose, was the differences between synthetic and conventional motor oil and how it's made and everything. It's really fascinating the difference in basically the consistency of the molecules or whatever you want to say. I really didn't like studying chemistry, I'll be honest, but that was probably the best part was getting to write that paper and do that research. So I realize now the advantages of synthetic and also why people recommend it for these cars. Sorry, my voice keeps cracking and cutting out for like two weeks I've had this cough and it's still messing with my voice. I just haven't gotten around to making the switch, but now I'm finally doing that today. So I know everybody recommends something different, but what I ended up choosing is Mobile One. Just their normal full synthetic, they call it the advanced full synthetic. I've heard a lot of good things about Mobile One, I know some trustworthy people use it. It's not that expensive, I think it's like $23 for 5 quarts, which compared to me spending about $17 on the stuff I was before, it's not really a big deal, I don't really care. I'll spend as much as I have to to make sure that my car is well protected. So I'm just rolling with this, it's simple, but it's also full synthetic and I know it's going to do a better job keeping everything lubricated up in there. I promise, even though there's a Walmart bag here that I didn't buy, it from there. I also got a mobile one filter. I was gonna go with a K&N, but they actually didn't have what I needed in stock. So I'm just rolling with that because, well, mobile one, mobile one, I guess you can't really go wrong there. So that's what we're gonna be rolling with now with the PTGT. I know you guys have been on my butt to switch to synthetic and picking on me for using Penn's oil and everything. I've always had good luck with Penn's oil. I don't really know why people don't like it, but I do realize that it's probably for the better that I switched to synthetic to keep things protected a little better. So I want to get started on doing this oil change, but really quick first, I'm going to skip to a quick little update on what is going on with the Eldorado and why the video is not out yet. So let's skip to that section of the video. So basically, as you guys know, I ended off the last episode of this project series with it still having a little bit of an oil leak and also finding a huge gas leak, which kind of sucked, but at least we made some progress and we found that much out. So since then, I've been doing a lot of research, figuring everything out, and right now I have a plan. I know what needs to be done. I also got something special in there too for it, and a lot is going to be happening this week. I am going to be grinding. Like, this car needs to be running this week. It needs to be done this week. So I'm going to be working my butt off to get this thing done and there probably won't be a video out quite as quickly as I was hoping and there might be a little break in between videos just because I'm grinding so hard on this car to get it done but as soon as we do finally make enough progress I will be editing up a video and you guys will be seeing everything that happened with this. But in the meantime, let's get started on this oil change. Finally an easy job. <laughs> After working on things like the Eldorado for a long period of time, it's kind of fun to uh, just do something like this because it is super relaxing. But anyways, finally ditching the Fram filter as well as the Pens oil. I got that nice new Mobile One filter up in here already. See it right there, kind of. And I also got the drain bolt torque back down already. Now we just gotta add the rest of this good stuff. Well, I think I forgot to press record, but I just added five quarts of that good stuff in here. So I guess the oil change is done. Let's go ahead and start this thing up for the first time on synthetic. Alright guys, so as you can see, 
it dripped a little bit. After I started the car, thankfully I looked up under it, which I'm really OCD about doing and like triple checking everything after I do an oil change and making sure everything is a-okay. And it's a good thing because I found that it was leaking a little bit where the oil filter was. Basically the filter wasn't quite tight enough. I ended up snugging it down a little with the wrench and everything was fine. But I think the reason that happened is because I'm used to those Fram filters that have like a rubber coating on the end. And I often wear rubber gloves too, so I can usually snug them down by hand really nice and that's more than enough. But the Mobile One filter was smooth and I was also using my bare hands so when I got it as tight as I could, hand tight, it wasn't quite enough. So it dripped a tiny bit but I ended up using, I have these pliers, these things, they're oil filter pliers I guess. I love these things, they're my favorite oil filter tool. I just use these to very gently snug it down and that was more than enough. So I guess that was the only hiccup today that we had. Also shout out to my friends for giving me this sticker. <laughs> I have no shame. We're just ricing it out one day at a time here. Well guys, unfortunately, as of recently, my car's been doing the death wobble again. What I mean by the death wobble is basically when I get up 55, 60 miles an hour in through there, the steering wheel just starts going crazy. As you guys know, it has new tie rod ends and like I've gone through everything in the front suspension at one point or another. And the car has like brand new tires and everything too, so I really don't understand what's going on, but here, let me see if I can give you guys a little demonstration. Doing about 45, 50 in through there and the steering wheel vibrating a little bit, but once we get going a little more, getting close to 60, it's really starting to vibrate. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, go a little faster. Now it's really bouncing. You should be able to see that. I checked everything over briefly and everything seemed fine. I checked for play in the wheels, of course, and there was nothing there obvious as well. So I really don't understand it, but that's what we're going to be checking out next on this car. But for now, at least it finally took care of the whole synthetic thing. I know a lot of you guys are hoping I'd switch over to that. I don't know how much of a difference it makes over the long haul. It probably does help. But either way, it's switched over now. I'm probably going to change the oil a little bit early this next time just to make sure everything is cleared out and then I'll continue with normal changes. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and also what you think the vibration could be because I mean I replaced everything tie right ends wheel bearings lower control arms everything you can possibly replace on these I've replaced in the front end so again let me know what you think down in the comments below be sure and go smash that thumbs up button if you enjoy the PT videos I know they seem to do the best on the channel you guys love seeing this car in some videos and I love making videos on it as well probably won't get to looking at things a little closer on this for the next couple days at least because like I said we are in the heat of the Eldorado project and I will need to get that thing done as soon as possible but in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching this quick little channel CG video. You rock. God bless and I will see you in the next one.